Good afternoon and a welcome to this week's Craft and Chat. It's Tuesday the 16th of May 2023. I'm Amanda Fowler and I'm live here on the Inspiring Inkling YouTube channel and the Inspiring Inkling Facebook page. If you're here watching live, can you just do a quick sound and light check for me? Um, make sure I am in the right place and uh, you can see and hear me clearly. Um, one of my cameras is a bit wonky today. Okay, I think we're all right. So let me just go in and double check. I am where I should be. It's always a good plan. Yeah, it's okay. I'm ready. <laughs> and now I can see you as well. It's always, it's like the first minute. You have to kind of, I don't know, kind of focus on whether chatting away before you even know somebody else is here. So let's have a look. Elizabeth can see and hear me clearly. Stella is in Texas. I'm reaching Texas. Jen, hello, hello. How are you doing? Um, good to see you. And Anne, I am loud and clear. It's kind of like all the messages are all, oh my gosh, they are all crazily jumping in now. That is brilliant. I am just going to check something because I had a weird Wi-Fi um, kind of message just come up then. And I shouldn't be on Wi-Fi. I should be logged in. Yeah, my Wi-Fi is off. That's okay. Because those of you that have been with me forever know that Wi-Fi is not my friend. <laughs> we need a long wire and it goes from here where I am in, in the spare room all the way. Oh, my studio. Let's call it my studio. There's no bed in here, so nobody can sleep in here unless they sleep under my desk. Um, a very long wire all the way across the landing and down the stairs to the front door. So, yes. So talking of the front door, I'm expecting deliveries again today. I was really excited. Brian said, I'm going to be working from home on Tuesday and I'm going into the office on Wednesday. And that was at the weekend. And I'm going, brilliant, because I've got all these parcels coming on Tuesday. Because it doesn't matter when I order stuff. It always comes on the Tuesday. And <laughs> <laughs> and then last night he went, yeah, I'm going into work in the morning. And it's like, no. So there we go. Right. Let me see. Because there's like, like I said, there is a million messages now. They've all arrived. Oh, oh. My mouse isn't mousing properly. <gasps> okay. Right. So where do we get to? Jen and Anne and Michelle and Karen. And Donna Oz is in the house, and Chris and Angela in Newbury, and in sunny Suffolk, the sea is like a mill pond. I bet it's a bit chilly on your tootsies, though, Anne. Do you go for a paddle? It's one of my favourite things to do. Even in the UK, when I know it's going to be like putting your feet in an ice bath. Uh, Margaret's here. Thank you. Dino's here. Anita says, I'm reaching sunny Bournemouth. Isn't the weather amazing? Sunshine everywhere, I think. Good afternoon, Sue. Leslie from Perth in Western Australia. And Susan's here. Hello, hello. And Valerie's here from Hollywood in Florida. My daughter was was in Florida the last couple of weeks. And Jan's here as well. Wow, the gang is all here. So how are you? How how was your weekend? Tell me, tell me all the things. Tell me what you've been up to up to. If you read my blog post on Friday, I said I was going to be doing some weeding and washing the car. <laughs> my rock and roll lifestyle. Um there was a lot of weeding to do. I just, I know, I know it's spring and the weeds are just growing, but they were everywhere. 
and the grass needed cutting and edging and all kinds of pruning going on and I'm covered in scratches look <laughs> oh I don't know whether you can see those ones um covered in scratches because of course I was gardening in a short sleeve top <laughs> and of course I climbed into the bushes in order to cut the dead stuff out of course I did that actually i was getting it was it was a bit grim actually um so we've got a huge rosemary bush and next to it is a um all year round fuchsia and the fuchsia has been really struggling for the past few years and a lot of the plants certainly the kind of bushes and stuff have been here since we moved in so you know, we've been here 15 years. So I would imagine, that, and it was the garden was fairly well established when we moved in. So they're probably 20 years old. So quite a lot of stuff is kind of getting to the end of its life. But anyway, this everlasting or ever, it's not evergreen, but it's, it, it doesn't die down like a, like a, um, an annual fuchsia does, it's kind of woody, but it, it's really been struggling. So I had to get in there and cut all the dead stuff off and kind of sort it out. But the rosemary has got, we call it cuckoo spit. I don't know what it is. I, it must be an aphid of some description, but it's just nasty, gooey, bubbly, white stuff all over the all over the rosemary and of course I was in and around the rosemary and the fuchsia and I, oh, I was just covered so yeah uh yeah it's just it's a hazard of being in the garden isn't it I was I was filthy I was covered in scratches and this horrible gooey stuff um it wasn't quite so bad that Brian had to hose me down before I went in the house but I didn't go straight to the shower because it was just grim so, so that was my weekend, and and actually, I did hoover my car, but I took my car to the car wash <laughs> instead of washing it. So, yeah, I did hoover it though, so that's good. So, let's have a look. Let's see where where we're at. Good afternoon, Pauline. That's my mum. To everyone else. Oh, lovely and sunny in Bristol, Ali. How are you doing this week, Ali? Um, Lorraine, sunny in pool. That's fab. So Dino's saying last weekend was Mother's Day in the US. I think we, we mentioned this last week, Dino. I think it's only the UK. I think everywhere else had Mother's Day last weekend. I know for my Aussie friends, it was last weekend as well. So for us in the UK, it's it's like the third weekend in March. We're the only ones that don't have Mother's Day in May, which is weird. Oh, she went out for a movie and had lunch with her daughter and granddaughter. What did you go to see, Dino? And yeah, I need some movie recommendations, please. So add that to the chat. And so she's going to do a bit of paddling later. <laughs> And <laughs> because the Tootsies would be chilly today. Um, so, yeah. I, but but to be honest, Anne, British Sea, it can be the height of summer, middle of August, roasting day, and it's still going to freeze your toes off. Um, that's why these wild swimmers that go into the sea at any time of year, just uh, they're amazing um donna said she was busy with mother's day last sunday had a barbecue with some friends at her son's house goodness me she spent three hours on the ride on lawn mower mowing his lawn because he's got two acres of lawn blimey that's a lot a lot a lot a lot of lawn donna oh deborah Smoky Calgary, have you got fires again? Fires or 
or smog, Deborah. And saying she's got cuckoo spit on her lavender. It's horrid. Yeah. Like I said, it was all over the rosemary and then it was all over me. Hello, Joanne. Hello, Jackie. She's enjoying a day in the sun by the sea. Ah, okay. Chris, ours is really mothering Sunday. Okay, so... Well, uh, uh, there's a, there's obviously can you can you elaborate on that chris so is it is it uh, I, I don't know the history of it so can you can you explain book club movie said dino that's good kerry off work so she can still join in so how's your foot kerry oh right okay so, Ali, made the effort to get up and about today. Yeah, just be kind to yourself, lovely. It's a tough old, tough old time. Um, little bits and little bits. Mothering Sunday, curds and whey, palm Sunday, Easter day. Elizabeth, you, you, <laughs> I'm reading it and it's not making any sense to me. You need to need to explain. Hello, Maureen. Oh, Deborah. So lots of fires, wildfires in northern Alberta. Many out of control. Stay safe, Deborah. Um, I hope you guys can get that under control soon. Catherine. Hello. Catherine, are you on the boat next week? Are you on the boat? So lovely to see you. And Carton Co. Hello, hello, hello. Hessen in Germany is in the house. Right. So it is part of the church calendar, says Sue. Okay. So that kind of makes sense why, why it's where it is then. Oh, Catherine. Okay. Well, hopefully, hopefully, maybe see you at backstage. It's all right. I'm just making, <laughs> making plans with my worldwide demonstrator friends. Um, right. Okay, so fingers crossed. So you're, you're back in Canada, Catherine. Awesome. Yay. That'd be good. Yeah, so um, just <laughs> because that's probably not made any sense to anybody. Um, I'm on an incentive trip we're stamping up next week so there won't be a craft and chat next week i will send you out an email and there'll be a post on my facebook page so that if you appear at two o'clock and i'm not there you'll know why you won't you won't worry that i've disappeared um i'll be back for the 30th um which is two weeks today that is also craft along for May. So don't worry if you get my out of office over, you know, the, the next few days. I will be back in time for craft along, which reminds me craft along kits have gone out. You've not had an email from me yet. <laughs> I'm working on it. Um, so, yeah, so the kits should have arrived by now, but I will um be sending out an email later so yeah so hopefully later today if today goes to plan <laughs> which it's been one of those i don't know it's kind of been a weird day i've been been dashing around so incoming public service announcement many of you either were there or have seen that at my bog off sale um, a few weeks ago, we raised £157 for breast cancer care. It's actually now called Breast Cancer Now, I think. So basically two charities. It always used to be Breast Cancer Care, um, who we used to raise money for, but 
they've merged. So anyway, so the, the, the fundraising that we did has gone in, which is wonderful. So this morning, this is the public service announcement. I went for my mammogram. And just in case, uh, there are people out there that don't know what a mammogram is. They take x-rays of your squashed boobs. <laughs> and I appreciate. Actually, I wonder whether YouTube will object to me saying that. Um it's not the most pleasant of experiences, um, but very necessary. Breast cancer affects a huge number of, of people, men and women. Um, so check your boobs and make sure that you go for your mammogram or when it is scheduled for you. Okay, right. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll segue off that and right okay so Chris has given us the background so mothering Sunday hang on oh I see so it's to do with the mother church um so people would go back to their homes once a year and it became a family reunion. So th th there's more information there. Chris has actually put all the details there. So it's in the Facebook section. So, so have a read of that. So actually, when people left their home village, they would worship at what are considered daughter churches or satellite churches churches and then they would come back to the mother church and then it was family reunions and then it's kind of grown from there okay <laughs> and says a mammograms like being shut in the fridge door yeah without the treats in the fridge <laughs> yeah one in seven women will get breast cancer um yeah it's and and we are all touched by cancer um many of you will know i've sort of, we've got history through the family um friends i've got customers who are undergoing cancer treatment at the moment i've got friends who are undergoing cancer treatment at the moment so it's just it's really important that we take care of ourselves so do your do your regular checks. If anything ever seems wrong with your body, get it checked out. And I know it is impossible to get a GP appointment these days, but insist and get things checked out. Don't leave it. Don't put things off. So there we go. Okay, right. Oh. I don't, <laughs> I'm all wriggly on my chair. So my new chair's arrived, my new office chair, and it's downstairs. And it's so comfy. Um, the back, it kind of gives you like a hug. And I'm sat on this chair here and it's like all rickety and falling apart. <laughs> really not comfy. So I'm just all wibbly on the chair so um oh before i get onto the crafting which i will do in a moment um a nail update da, 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 da. um you can probably see the polish is actually growing out my nails are growing so it's almost three weeks on thursday it'll be three weeks since i had them done and yeah my nails feel great um so i'm i'm really excited so when this i'm i'm having the nails um changed not changed the old polish taken off it's gel polish it's not like an extension or anything um on friday um but it'll be really nice to have longer nails so i'm very excited very excited about that so but obviously my nails do grow <laughs> when they're protected with, with good polish, but they feel great. 
Judy's saying she better get another one. Yes. Um, every country is different. Um, I think it's every two years in the UK, once once you're over a certain age. Um, since I am rapidly approaching my 55th birthday, two weeks' time. Um, yeah. So, and I think I think it kind of peters off. So I think it's every two years that we have it here in the UK. Um get another chair, <laughs> not another mammogram. <laughs> Judy, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, I'll have to save up again for another chair. Uh, oh dear. Um, right. Um, Jackie, you've just put a message, and I don't think that's got anything to do um with me so you might want to delete that message and send it to someone else um i'm just going to remove that okay every three years says ali okay Right, so today I am going to be working with um, new products from the annual catalogue. Oh, just in case, just in case you didn't see my message, ordering is a back to normal. So the warehouse have caught up. Stuff that actually was ordered yesterday has already shipped. Things are moving fast. So if you've been waiting because you didn't want to place your order and then have to wait two weeks for your stuff, which I quite understand. Um, yeah, it's it's moving really quickly. So um, you can get your order in now. Now, so this this is what we are going to be looking at today it's called masterfully made and there is a stamp set some sequins some dies and some paper and they are all amazing and in actual fact the paper for those of you that struggle with tearing paper they are amazing. Um, so I'm going to start out with the stamps and the dies first, and then I'll show you the papers second. So page 100 and 203. Let me, oh, no, I've got to show you something else first. <gasps> hang on, hang on. Da, 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 da. This arrived in my inbox this week with Margaret. Um, this is her crab apple tree. Her garden looks beautiful, doesn't it? Looks like there are peonies there in the front, but that's her crab apple tree. You are gonna have an amazing amount of crab apples on that tree, I think, with all that blossom. Isn't it beautiful? So, as I often say, <laughs> you can send me pictures of all the things: <laughs> gardens, cake. Um, crafting projects. I'd love to see it. Um, and if I'm allowed to share it, just make sure you make it clear in the in the comments. Um, but I would never show anything that somebody sent me without permission. Okay, so um, if if something arrives and there's no permission attached, I will always ask. So please don't worry. Um, yeah, I will never share without permission. So that's good. Okay, so let's stop the camera, move that on. Bear with me. Oh, 
let's switch the camera around. Da, 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 da. Hooray. Okay, right. I've just got to go and rescue my chamois, which is under under the t under the sink, under the tap. Because I'm going to be using multiple colours today, so I need to make sure that I can clean my stamps. So let me see if I can sort this chair out. Oh, right. So this is this is the stamp set. It's called Gorgeously Made, and. <laughs> If you if you went through the catalog and went which are the stamp sets that Amanda buys. So firstly, I love leaves of all descriptions. I love text and grunginess which both of these kind of fit and obviously happy birthdays. Um but yeah, this this stamp set was definitely on my list. And the dies that go with it are really cool and actually not that there aren't a lot of the dark there aren't a lot of them there are five in the set so let me just show you them one by one so there are two leaf dies so that's that one and as well as cutting out, they've got this, these little cutouts around the edges, which are really cool. And then this one, which is the one that I'm going to be using all the time. And again, the detail on it is beautiful. So that's those two. Da -da -da. You've then got a little... Um, tag or sentiment layer and it's got like wonky edges so as though you've torn it but obviously it's die cut it's obviously designed for the sentiments in the stamp set but imagine how thrilled I was that it works with this one best family ever um the happy birthday but it does work with some of the smaller sentiments on here as well. Uncle, brother, daughter, it'll work on. So, you know, if you haven't got this set, that needs to go on your next order. Okay, so that's that one. Then, <laughs> then you've got a wiggly lime. Bitch. You know, like I said, if you don't like tearing, this is a great set. So this is what it does. This is what your wiggly line does. So it cuts there and it gives you two smart torn edges like that. Which is really cool. So obviously you can you could do it kind of that way. Um, you could just use a smaller section of it, put a sentiment in there. It's really cool. So that's that one. And then the one that's probably going to get the most use apart from the leaves is this one, which is like a torn page out of a, um, what do I want to say, uh, like a spiral bound book. So I've just stamped it onto ordinary basic white you could draw little pencil lines on it to make it like lined paper all kinds of stuff deborah's saying this also looks like hills yeah it does absolutely and can i just mention christmas is a coming <laughs> look look that would make awesome snow obviously not green but if you did it in white that would be awesome da, da, da. great deborah thank you okay and just in case you're wondering that's a bit bit that the 
die cuts out. So basically you put it so the bumpy bits are at the top like that and it adds this line of stitching and that bit there. Okay, so that's all the dies. So let me just, I'm going to put the dies away because things just disappear. There we go. And I'm going to use most of these green bits. So I'm going to pop that there. I haven't decided which bits I'm going to use yet. I have got a old olive card blank and an old olive layer that needs cutting down and white layers. And like I said, I've got the stamps. Now, I keep getting asked about how to um, mount your red rubber stamps onto the stickers. Now, there are lots of different ways to do this. I'm going to show you the way that I have always done it. Um, but, you know, you will work out the best way for you. Hi, Zaina. Thanks for joining us. So, with the red rubber stamps, you will get die cut images and peel off the paper backing. And then you've got the sticker sheet. And there's two sides to the sticker sheet. This side here um, is solid. So, you're not going to work on that side. You're going to work on this side that has cuts in the paper on the images so I just pull off whichever stamp I'm going to to use and then making sure that I'm looking directly down because of my very focals mainly but also to make sure I get it lined up I look over the top and line it up Kind of in in the gap that was left from the backing sheet and then just pull it off and it's nice and lined up do, do, do. now when these um stamps are brand new when you're lifting them Make sure you get your nail or a pokey tool and lift up, including the sticker. What you don't want to do is pull. So if I get my turn that around, you don't want to be pulling here. Because you can actually pull the rubber off the foam or pull the foam off the sticker. You want to get all the way underneath so you're actually lifting the sticker off. Okay, there we go. Right. So let me just trim that down. So I want this to be a matte layer. So for me, that's three and three quarters by five and a half. And then I want to kind of pop this on at an angle. So I want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So. I'm going to get some grid paper and I didn't bring a small block with me. Ooh. Okay, and I also didn't bring an old olive ink pad. So you just have to wait a second. I'll go and get a smaller block and an old olive ink pad.
Ooh, right. Which size? No, need the bigger one. Okay, so I am just going to make a background. And with any words, make sure <laughs> that you're stamping them the right way up, even when they're kind of broken, because you will notice if it will catch your eye. It's just one of those things that will absolutely catch your eye and you'll notice it if it's wrong, if it's backwards, upside down. Thanks, Lorraine. Have fun with your grandbabies. There we go. And let's play with this really long one. So I'm stamping off a little bit because... Because I don't want it to be too dark. Da, da, da. There we go. Okay. So I'm thinking that... I'm going to practice on here. If I stamp this, I'm wondering kind of how that looks over the top. <laughs> Not great, <laughs> which is why I, why I did it. Oh, yeah, no, that's not ideal. So let's try this one. That looks better. Okay. See, this is why this is why we stamp off and then stamp and then try things. And so I'm going to kind of stamp that there and stamp off a little bit. And then I'm going to be able to pop that down over the top. And I want it to kind of come across over the top. So it kind of looks like it's multiple leaves. Does that make sense? And then I need a white layer. I'm sure I've got one somewhere. Da -da -da. There we go. So let's do the thank you, because you can never have too many thank you cards, ever. <laughs> but that's a bit rubbish, isn't it? Okay, so that's a halo. And basically, it's because I pressed too hard with my stamp on my ink pad. So let's just turn it over and just see if that stamps better. Yes, it does. Okay, let's get another one. Let's hope I don't make another mistake. Right. There we go. So just be gentle. Fairy taps, angel kisses, all the things that we say. Um, when our, our, our customers and our friends are using our stamps and they get hold of a stamp and they go and grind it into the ink pad. <laughs> I'm sure you've seen, you've seen that happen. And the thing is, people don't, un don't understand. There's so much ink on these ink pads. 
you just don't need to do that. So let's just get that all cleared off. And of course, I've forgotten. I need to stamp my inside. Let me just do that. These stamps are going to get so much love. All right, let's move that, shut that up, and get this all stuck together. Da -da -da. Foam pads for this one. Um, Jackie's saying, what is the long stamp? Is it broken words or just marks? No, it's just marks, Jackie. It's it kind of looks like um, you know how sometimes you have um paper or fabric that you can thread ribbon through and you have like two lines and you can thread it through and under and over and under and over. It kind of looks like that. But there's no words in it. It's just kind of smudgy. It's very cool. All right. I want to, what I'm going to do, bizarrely, is put the sentiment on first. I'm going to put this bit on last. Um, and the reason for that is I want this, I want the sentiment to stand out. Um, but I want to make sure that I can kind of position the note page bit on an angle. Um, and I just need to see kind of how it's sitting first. So basically that's old olive card on old olive card and old olive ink. So let's get this on there now as well. Oh, yeah, you could use, Jackie's suggesting you could use it for grass, perhaps. That may well work. All right, so let's just kind of do that that way. And then we're going to put our leaves over the top. And I'm actually just going to pop a little bit of tiny dots of Tombow on the bits that are kind of bigger so it's not going to get stuck down all the way across but just here and there and then I better do something at the top bit as well and then just kind of position it and I want it so it's going over the top and kind of over the sides as well put my hand over the top keep it pressed down Ta-da! And then get that on the inside. Um, where are my sequins? The sequins, sequins are here. So these are the sequins that are part of the suite. And I'm just going to put some here on the um, notepad bit. And they are very subtle. So these are the sort of iridescent ones. You will be able to just see them, I think. But it just gives you a little bit, oh, a little bit of interest. I can just see that there's a bit of that dye that hadn't come out. So let's just bend up these leaves a little bit. 
So it just, you know me, I just, I like things to be in motion, as it were. But that's really cool. It's really, really easy to make a background um, with that set. Okay, so that's um, just using the stamps and the dies. Um, for the next card, which again is super simple card, um, but what I what I wanted to do was to show you the papers, because honestly, I don't think I have seen a more interesting set of papers for a long time. Be warned, they're a bit out there. <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're a bit funky. Uh, but they're very cool. So the first thing I'm going to say, they're 12 by 12 papers. And just listen to the curry curries. <laughs> oh, dear. Just listen to the colours on the list. So you'll know how vibrant this set is. So the colours in this paper are Azure Afternoon, Berry Burst, Crushed Curry, Fresh Freesia, Lemon Lime Twist, Lemon Lolly, Lost Lagoon, Melon Mambo, Night of Navy, Pretty Peacock, Pumpkin Pie and Sweet Sorbet. It's amazing. It's what it is. So let's just take the papers one by one. So this is basically a photograph of torn paper. And I know so many people struggle with tearing paper. Firstly, because you're not sure whether it's whether you tear it towards you or away from you, or maybe it's a bit too wonky or it's not wonky enough. And this has basically been done for you. So what you can actually see is embossed papers, papers, patterned papers, cardstock, torn, layered, and photographed. It's super cool. And then, <laughs> and then you've got a scene made out of torn paper. Again, super cool. And you will notice as we go through this, the patterned papers are already in this set. So it's very cool. Um, so, yeah. So this, I mean, for the scrapbookers and memory keepers amongst you, this is awesome. But actually, you know, you can cut that bit off and make a card and you can cut that bit off and make a card. So it's for everybody. Um, okay. So next. So this. Again, is sort of the blues and greens, but again, the torn paper. And Triana's saying, is it smooth? Yes. Because it's a photograph, but it looks 3D. It, it, it's amazing. And look at that. That's really cool. So it looks like paper flowers. And again, it is paper flowers that have been photographed. So it looks 3D, but it's not as flat. This is one of my favourite pages. So you've got tone on tone print of the same image as the stamps, but tiny. Yeah, so if you kind of look at the size of that compared to the the size of the image, but it's got text in black underneath it. It's beautiful. And then this one, <laughs> this one's wild. See, I told you. I just love it. I mean, I would actually frame that and put that on the wall. It is very cool. Um, then you've got, it's the same as the Fresh Freesia one, but kind of reversed. So the, the images are the lighter colour. But again, it has got text underneath it. I don't know whether you can see that, but it has got black text underneath it. And then another one that is just stunning. Really beautiful. 
Then you've got another torn one. This is the lemon lime twist, I think. But again, super cool. And just looking at it, it just looks so 3D, but it just isn't. Um, and then you've got like a, I won't say a forest of flowers. It's not. It's a meadow of flowers, isn't it? Um, but again, beautifully done. And then this is actually the paper that I'm going to use today. So this is stunning. So you've got the text. And then basically what they've done is they've torn the paper and layered it. So I'm just going to cut a layer for the front of my card. So obviously you, you get six out of this. Um, but isn't that beautiful? And then look at this one. You love a rainbow. And again, it's all torn pieces of paper. So cool. So what I thought I would do is, like I said, I'm going to use this paper and I'm just going to cut a layer. So I'm going to cut it at three and a half and I'll get my other bits out in a second. Um, and I've got a berry burst card blank and a million other bits of card berry burst ink pad lots of spare die cut pieces in case I made a mistake da -da -da. and a fresh freesia layer so I kind of I looked at this quite a lot and decided that Fresh Freesia was what I needed the layer to be. Um, now, depending on how you want your layers to go, depends on where you cut this off. So if you want um, this section to be central, you're going to need to cut a little bit off the top. I actually don't um, because I want less less of the paler colour at the bottom. So I'm going to cut that five and a quarter. And just look at that. You could just pop that on a card front with the sentiment and you're done. So cool. Okay, so that's going to go on the, like so, and this. And then I decided I was going to use the leaves over the top and the sentiment. And that's all I was going to do. And I looked at this and I went, okay, so which colour leaves? And often what I try and do is try and explain to you how I go about designing or choosing the colors um because the thing is it can kind of feel like a bit of a mysterious process <laughs> sometimes and I think it's really important that you see all the different ways of doing things so I know because it says on the back of the packet what colors are included in the papers um, but I don't know exactly which bits are in here. And like I said, it's a huge long list. Um, so what I did was I picked the colours that I thought would go the best. And basically, this is what I started out with. So I got my cardstock in all the colours and basically laid it over the top and said, well, do I think that will go? Yes, it probably will. What about white? Yeah, that probably will. Um, then I looked at the Lost Lagoon. And if you look into the paper, it's just there. So it kind of goes, but I wasn't sure. 
This is um, as your afternoon. And it's definitely that blue at the top, but does it kind of go with the rest of it? Maybe, maybe not. And the same with the Fresh Freesia. So I've kind of got three colours that I know will go, but they're very similar to the card and two colours that maybe will go. So I then die cut all the pieces. So what I want you to do is I'm going to put them all on and you can tell me which one you like the best because it'll be interesting to see because I thought I knew once I'd laid the card stock but once you put the die cut piece on because there's a lot more color coming through it it it's very different um dino the papers are page 102 of the catalogue it's called the masterfully made suite it's these papers here and they are called masterfully made and i just i think so often we see this and it's really quite small you don't really get an idea of of how awesome the papers are okay Thank you. Lots of love for the papers. OK, so Lost Lagoon. You see, that to me just kind of disappears when you look at it on camera. Close up, it's better. And I'm going to do it close up because it's easier for you to see. Um, but I'm, I'm not convinced. As your afternoon which I thought would get swallowed up, is actually quite nice. I'm going to put that in my maybe pile. Ooh. Berry Burst. Actually, I really think that works. That's the Fresh Freesia one, and I think it just disappears. It just kind of, it's just gone. But look how the white stands out. And I, I it wouldn't, it would never really have occurred to me to use white. I just, it just wouldn't. So, so we're going to, Fresh Freesia and Lost Lagoon is going to get put to one side because they're just no good. Um, but let's just have a look at these three again. So I think the white pops the most. I'm going to put a little linen thread bow on there. So let's have a look. So that's the white. That's the azure afternoon. And that's the berry burst. Ooh, white, 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 white. <laughs> berry burst, berry burst. Interesting. Do you see? Isn't it cool? But this is why I'm saying when you're when you're crafting, have a play. And something that I say often, but it bear, really does bear repeating is don't ever make one card, make three or make five <laughs> of the same design. You're never going to send them to the same person, um, but make multiples. So then with this one, I can cut the, card, the paper for another two and then I could make one each. <laughs> Val saying plot twist, daffodil delight. So that the yellow is crushed curry. And I don't know. I don't know why I didn't get that one, Val. That's just crazy, isn't it? So that might make that may well work. So I think probably what I might do 
is do all three. <laughs> yeah, all, all the plot twists. White, 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 white. So I am going to go with white only because to me it was the most shocking that it was actually really nice. Um, but I will do these. Actually, what I think, how about the other two card variations I make? I do a berry burst one and I do the yellow, unless it's hideous. I can't tell. <laughs> it might be hideous. You never know. It won't be the first time I have made a hideous card. I have made many in my life. Um, right now, here's the madness of trying to tie linen thread around a skinny little stem. So what I'm actually going to do is make my life a little bit easier and use a double thickness of linen thread because it'll be easier with two. Okay. So just don't tie it tightly <laughs> because you'll, you'll chop the stem off. And I tell you these things because I've done them so many times, right? So hold it gently. Don't tie it too tight. Make your loop. Make another loop. Pull it through. Da, da, da like that and then pull it to get it to a sensible size you don't want it so enormous that it overwhelms the leaves and just snip a bit more of that off da, da, da. there we go look right so, the thing that took all the time for that card was deciding what leaves to use. <laughs> oh, Dino is saying that she's really pleased I showcase this because she would have bypassed it in the catalogue. I know, and the thing is, there are so many beautiful things in the catalogue that, you know, our eyes are drawn to certain things. Um, but I... Honestly, when I saw it, I I really, really hoped it was going to be as awesome as it actually is. Um, it, yeah, it, it made me super happy. Um, so, again, I'm just going to this time, I'm just going to put, put a little bit of glue on the back of that linen thread. And I'm just going to kind of put it up through the centre because I definitely want these leaves to move. And basically what that does then is it means that the linen thread is kind of up as well. And then I'm going to get my happy birthday stamp, which you can tell is well loved because it's pink. Whoa. Da, da, da. Just check. Yeah. Happy birthday. And then I'm just going to pop that down there with some dimensionals. <laughs> Lots of love for these papers. There we go. How cool is that? Let's just move all the rubbish out of the way. Da, da, da. I'm a mouse mat and random bits of card. So just 
do that so they sit flatter so you've got a little bit of die cutting and stamping on this very first card making your own background and it's a great way of doing tone on tone things and then look how cool that is and all of the detail there is done for you so quick and easy and you've got a little bit of linen thread there and a little bit of die cutting so there you go so um thank you so much for hanging out with me today um as i said right at the very very beginning there'll be no craft and chat here next week i'm off having adventures I will be back though on the 30th. So I'll be back two weeks today. So make sure you get a note in your diary and come and hang out with me then. All of the products that you've seen today are available in my online store. If you pop over to my blog, www.inspiringinkin.com, you'll find um, a relevant blog post and all of the links for all of the products. If you scroll down, whether on Facebook or YouTube, you'll find the links to the products there as well. Um, and you can sign up for my mailing list if you go to Inspire and Inkin. And there is um, links to my online store as well. So let's just hide that away. Um, and if you want to send me pictures of your projects or your garden <laughs> or cake, we do like to see cake, um, then pop them um into my email amanda at inspiringinkin.com and if you're happy for me to share like I shared Margaret's crab apple tree today um, please do give me permission in the email so take care of yourselves I will see you all again soon thank you so much for joining us <music>